Today's video is going to be about the RFS 18 to 150 millimeter f3.5 to 6.3 IS STM lens from Canon. While RFS lenses function normally on all Canon EOS R camera bodies, they're only designed to cover an APS-C sensor, so if you choose to use it on a full frame camera, you will be limited to crop mode, severely lowering your resolution. This is basically a refresh of the EFM 18 to 150 millimeter f3.5 to 6.3 IS STM lens that was released for the Canon M series cameras. It wouldn't have been my first choice in a lens, but Canon was only selling the R7 in kits, including this lens when it first was released, so I was essentially forced into getting it. That being said, I'm actually really glad I do have it now because the real advantage to the APS-C sensor lineup is that they are smaller, lighter, and more compact than my other full-frame cameras. Once you slap a full-frame RF lens on there, that factor is highly diminished, so it's really nice to have the very small and lightweight RFS lens when I want something hassle-free to shoot with. 18 to 150 millimeters on an APS-C sensor gives us the equivalent of 28.8 to 240 millimeters on a full frame camera body. This is a very versatile focal length to have, although 18 millimeters on an APS-C sensor isn't particularly wide, and people looking to photograph wildlife will come up short at only the effective 240 millimeters field of view on the APS-C sensor body. I made a video where I previously compared this lens to my RF 24 to 240 millimeter lens when I was vacationing up in Vermont photographing the fall foliage, and I found that the 18 to 150 millimeter worked very well as a general walk around lens for landscapes, although sometimes I would have preferred a wider angle. I wouldn't call this lens razor sharp, but for more casual, fun photography, I think most people will find that it has acceptable image quality, especially when you consider the super zoom focal length and versatility that this lens offers. I was able to capture decently wide angle landscapes and also zoom in on more detailed scenes with this versatile lightweight lens. The maximum aperture of 3.5 to 6.3 is less than impressive, but serves to keep it compact, lightweight, affordable, and easy to carry around. With apertures like these, it shouldn't be the first lens you look to for shallow depths of field and blurry backgrounds, but when it does present itself, it looks really nice. Image stabilization is rated at up to 4.5 stops of assistance, or 6.5 stops if paired with internal stabilization, which can really help with handheld shooting and video work. The lens does not have a stabilization switch, which is unfortunate, and you'll have to access the menu to turn it on and off. The RFS 18-150 uses an STM stepping motor. During video, it's very smooth, quiet, and accurate to focus. Likewise, when shooting stills, the STM motor performs very fast while staying essentially silent and acquiring focus and tracking very accurately. The lens also includes a control ring on the front of the lens. It can serve as a manual focus ring or be programmed to control any number of functions on your camera. As a focus ring, it turns very smoothly and actually feels really nice, although it's a little thin and awkward to grip. One very nice thing that I noticed about this lens is that it exhibits very little focus breathing, which can be very helpful during video work. The overall build quality is okay. It feels sturdy enough for being mostly plastic. I do wish they included switches for the autofocus and stabilization but they chose to streamline this lens with no switches at all. The barrel extends when you zoom out, and the zoom ring is large and turns very smoothly. The lens is nice, but it's nothing to really write home about. There is no weather sealing and shouldn't be expected in a lens at this price point. The real advantage to a lens like this is the lightweight, compact design and versatile focal length, making it easy to carry around with you all day without breaking your back. Image quality is acceptable, stabilization and autofocus work exceptionally well. It's nice to have options like this from Canon, and I hope that they continue to fill out the RFS lineup with more small, affordable little lenses like this in the near future. Personally, I'd love to see them repackage the EFM 22mm f2 into an RFS lens, as I loved that little lens on my old M50. As always, thank you for watching the channel. If you feel that it helped, do please go below, subscribe, click that notification bell, and I'll see you on my next video.